When one thinks of the origins of vampire fiction, generally one looks to Count Dracula. Many believe that the character of Dracula was based upon Vlad Dracula, a ruler of Wallachia in the 1400s. However, this isn't the only political figure from the Kingdom of Hungary that has been the basis for vampire fiction, which really starts to make you wonder. Elizabeth was born in 1560 to the Hungarian nobility of the Bathory family, which ruled Transylvania as a part of the Hungarian kingdom during this time. Early accounts of her life indicate that she lived a normal life as any child of royalty could up to that point. However, this was not to last long. After her 12th birthday, Elizabeth was set to be married to Ferenc Nadazdi, who was a member of another high-ranking family in the Hungarian nobility. However, around her 14th birthday, it was discovered that Elizabeth was pregnant with the child of a non-noble-born man. Angered, Nadazdi was said to have the man castrated and then fed to his dogs. After the child was born, who reportedly was a girl, she was removed from Elizabeth's care and quietly disappears from history. After these events, Elizabeth and Frank were still married with her keeping her last name due to his family being of a lower noble status. From there, from there, the history is a little boring. Elizabeth and Frank lived the standard life of nobles. Frank was an officer and would frequently be away from home, which allowed Elizabeth the freedom to take lovers as she chose. The two had four children before Frank died in 1604, although whether any of them were truly his is unknown. It was after her husband's death that the legends of the bloody countess truly began. At first, it was merely rumors, whispers that a countess Bathory found great joy in torturing and killing young girls. Servants of the castle went missing. Soon, it was the girls from the village. They would be invited up to the castle and never heard from again. Several young girls were sent to be taken into the countess's care, where they would learn manners and how to behave properly in court. The whispers of Elizabeth's vampire origins began, that she bathed in and drank the blood of the young to preserve her beauty and vitality. Of course, these were merely rumors and legends, yet witnesses did claim that she would stab victims, bite them, and slash them with knives. She would burn them, starve them, and beat them to death. For several years, these reports and rumors passed through the countryside. Finally, in 1604, Elizabeth was arrested, along with several women who supposedly helped her. While the servants were tried, Elizabeth enjoyed the comforts of being nobility and was never publicly found guilty of any crimes. She was instead locked in her castle, in a room where the windows were boarded and the doors were barred behind her. In 1614, she was reported as having died within her small room. Yet, this was not truly her death, for she lives on in legends as the Bloody Countess. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a like and leave a comment down below. And if you want more myths, lore, and tales of Earth, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you want more of myself, you can find me on twitch.tv slash and I will see you next time.